Hi. Um, I'll go on to the the next job that I did um, the next summer. Um, while I, I think, if I remember right, it was between um, being at university and going on to Teachers Training College. Um, simply by going to um, the, I suppose it was the employment exchange, I found a temporary job in the summer um, open to students working for the for the co-op delivering milk. Um, if I remember right, it was around £20 a week, which was quite good money then. Um, it had a few little perks as well. I had to do a test to get the job, which mainly consisted of adding up people's bills. I seem to remember the first question being, uh, somebody has two pints a day at one and a penny a pint. How much do they owe at the end of the week? Quite a simple calculation at the time, but looking back in it now, it seems difficult. Um, 14 times a shilling is 14 shillings, of course, and 14 times a penny is one and two. 14 shillings and one and two is 15 and two. That, of course, is a simple calculation. There were no, there were no, there were no for the time. There were, there were no um, calculators or anything. You could write it down, but you, but. In practice, you really want to be able to do it in your head. Um, a simple, a simple thing like that. It gets more complicated if the price was different. Even at eleven pence uh, a pint, it's slightly more difficult. Uh, supposing to be at one a day uh, at eleven pence a pint, that'd be seven pints. It'd be seven shillings less seven pence, which is six and five. I think I could have done it instantly then. I suppose if they ever brought it back, people would have enormous difficulty coping with it, wouldn't they? Even with calculators, because how can you do 12, uh, 12 pence of the shilling with a calculator? It'd be really complicated. Um, I have got, just for the, uh, to show you if you haven't seen them, uh, a few old pennies here. Um, they're, they're the sort of pennies you would have had at the time. Uh, they're much bigger than the money you get today and heavier. And they got an, a nice chink because well they're they're made of bonds or copper I can't remember I think it's bonds um, and also got a farthing which had gone out of use by the time I was doing the milk I can just remember them as a, as a child I haven't got a halfpenny handy but uh, you can see the, the difference in size the halfpenny obviously comes in between um, money was even even the penny were, was more of a coin than anything you get these days. Anyway, I had to go out the first week with, with, the, with the bloke and I, I happened to get the one that did the, the markets in the very center of Birmingham. Uh, the, there was all the fruit market. You know, it was before um, the, the big complex that's there now. You had to get up very early in the morning, but you had to be there, I think, for six o'clock. Uh, for most rounds, you could get there between six and half past seven. But this one, because of the traffic in the market, you had to be there very early uh, to deliver around the market. And uh, you did that first, and then you went out and did it at some of the houses round about. Uh, I found it sort of quite pleasant, actually, not getting up first, early in the morning, but. Um, you sort of most of the time you you're walking about really or sort of half running if you're getting a bit late and then of course you go and see the people at the week at the weekend and 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 collect the money which there's a certain satisfaction once you get good at it in in in, in handing the money it doesn't take long uh, uh, the, the practice of, of because of course most people have either pasteurized pass as it was called or sterilized if you called sterile um, there was a couple of others that you could get homogenized known as homo uh, milk which nearly all milk is these days and I would not recommend it if you want the milk with the cream at the top if you can and then there was Channel Island milk which had a gold top and more cream very prized by um, Asian customers who seemed to feed it to their babies which would be totally unrecommended by uh, 
by um, Western doctors. Now, I'm not saying that means that they were wrong, of course, but they would say that uh, it must be more balanced for, for a baby, but they were very keen on it. I remember, distinctly remember being surprised by that. They give them Channel Islands milk because it had more cream and therefore was better. Uh, well, obviously, this it seemed to work. Anyway, they also had stamps at the time. The co-op paid a dividend. At one time, you it was all written down as you as you bought stuff. You had a number which you quoted. Uh, but it had moved on uh, relatively recently as uh, Green Shield stamps had become popular. I think the co-op decided they'd move to the stamp system. So so people got so many stamps according to uh, how much money they, they spent. So we got a wadge of stamps and you had to give out the correct number to the, to the people. And some people would say, no, I don't want the stamps, I don't collect them. And um, within some reason you could keep them for yourself. Uh, they weren't worth a lot, but it just felt like a perk. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this. Um, I do remember one day there was a match on at the Birmingham City football ground. I, I, I had to live all around there and you do feel a bit strange sort of uh, collecting money from a house as there's a stream of uh, football supporters walking past. But the, apart from the sheer um, volume of them being kind of in your way, there were no, no aggravation or of any sort. They, they just walked past you, um, cast a glance and carried on. I somehow don't feel it would be like that now, although it, it may be. Uh, there was never a time you felt really under any kind of threat. Everybody was was pleasant and I had no serious of people paying either. The odd one would be out, of course, and you just mark it down in the book. Only, the only thing I can remember is the car had a different system to, to um, Midland Counties, which I worked for later. Uh, you didn't work out your own book at the end of the, of, of the week with the co-op. They worked it out for you and you, you just paid in the money and what stamps you had left and they told you then eventually if it was right. And I remember the, the one week, about three weeks in, it wasn't right. Um, I was short something like two shillings and you think, oh, well, I must have made a mistake somewhere, I suppose. Um, but I had to go through it and, 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 and carefully calculate this and that with, 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 with the fella. And you, you, it begins to get sort of irritating because you think, well, okay, if I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I owe, I owe you two shillings, that's it. Um, but he wanted to find it, and surprisingly, he did. Um, it, it was basically his mistake. I can't remember the detail of it, but I, it was something like um, I was actually totten short rather than two shillings. He, he, he calculated and totten was considered to be a reasonable. Um, thing to be to be wrong and, and they just wrote off the tottens. Uh, but it took about an hour and a half of going through it to find out what had gone wrong. Um, just one of those things that you remember, but altogether an interesting pleasant job to do, really. So 